Hello, Policy Best for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, February 2020, a different Commodore 16 game on my channel. So, today's game is Scramble. So, let's press fire to play. This is what you see when the game's loaded. Game over, fire to play. Now, as you can see, this is Scramble. Now, this game reminds me of a game called Penetrator on the ZX Spectrum. Oh, you fuck. So yeah, basically uh, you're going across, um, you, you shoot both forward uh, uh, animation and also uh, what you call it, mi missiles down to the ground as well. The rockets from the ground appear up. You only get a certain amount of fuel. Oh you fuck! So uh, yeah. Hope you're having a good evening. I, I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Uh, probably, it's, well, to be honest, it is the weekend, isn't it? Uh, for most people. So basically, to get extra fuel, you've got to actually bomb the fuel. You don't pick them up. At first, I thought you had to pick it up, but you ha actually have to shoot a bomb at the fuel to get extra fuel. You can see at the top, your fuel level there. If that runs out, it, it's the end of the game. So you've got to try and get through the level and not run out of fuel. So yeah, nice little shoot them up. Oh, you boona. Graphics are okay. They're reasonably basic, but they do the job. There's a good amount of sound, beeps and blobs and stuff. So yeah. Basically, all you got to do is avoid, avoid or destroy the baddies. And uh, keep collecting fuel on the way and not do that, what I just did. So let's try that again. So there was a game based on this called Penetrator on the ZX Spectrum where you can make your own levels as well, which is really cool. You can't make your own levels sadly on this version now. But the Penetrator game come up later. And Penetrator game is actually a clone of this. I think this was like, sort of like the original. So yeah, graphics are good, they do the job. Oh you fuck! The explosions look kinda neat, when your, dis your craft gets destroyed. And yeah, it's quite a fun little arcade style game. Probably based on an arcade machine, I don't know for sure. I'll have to let me know in the comments if this was based on an arcade machine. Because I am I can imagine a game like this being in the arcades, to be honest. So yeah, I'm using a Micro 6 joystick and it plays really well with the joystick. Oh you fuck! I've only got one life now. One sector one. Ooh, you boona! Have another go on it. See if I can get any further. I'm not very good at games as you can tell. Here we go. Have some of that. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's all right for the Commodore 16. It's not too bad of a game. Bit of, bit of fun for your Commodore 16, Ted. And uh, yeah, good game. Please make sure that you've got your eat syncs on your TED and your CPU if you've got a Commodore 16 and your PLA as well. Keep some longer lasting. Mine's got one. Mine's got heat sink on all three chips. Just to try and long live the uh, system. Because the, the chips are kind of hot, expensive these days, if you're on originals. So yeah, anyway, so uh, yeah, that's... We're getting there. It gets harder as the game progresses. Hey, I'm on sector two. So at this point of the game, you, you have to also navigate through narrow chasms. Because both of them are top and bottom scenery will destroy you if you crash into it. So you, not only have you got to deal with the baddies, baddies sorry, you've got to also deal with the narrow passageways. So yeah, interesting concept. Gives a nice little spaceship experience on the home micro. God, there's a lot of baddies in here, isn't there? Keep getting them fueled because you're going to need them throughout the game. Oh, 
At the top of the screen, it would tell you how far you are in the sector. So yeah, that's a scramble on the uh, Commodore 16, and I'm going to give that one a, a very good 9 out of 10. Superb fun, and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.